show you some cool things. This is a cassette because it has a lock ring. Sometimes you can identify the lock ring right inside there. There's another style called the free wheel where there's no lock ring and that's all one unit and it spins onto the wheel. This guy has individual gears that come apart and it varies which ones are single and which ones are bonded together. But anyways, so if we look closely at some of those markings here, this is actually grooves. So this is a groove right here. You can feel that with my tool. So it grooves here and it actually follows a pattern. The next one has a groove, groove, groove. You see that all the way down. So those little grooves right there, basically they're, you can call them ramps as well. They help the chain grab. So when you're ready to push the chain over, the chain's going to catch this guy right here and jump up onto it and same to the next one. And you'll find different, different variations of it. These, this tooth kind of comes up, has a corner, flat on top, corner, and then down, ramps down. This is the valley, I'll call that the valley. Come up, and then the next one over here does the same thing. It has a corner, flat, and then actually on the face of it has a little angle shaving. So when you see that, it's most likely done from the factory. It's not that your part is worn. Pretty hard to mess these up and mar the metal or put curves or big dents in it. If anything, the teeth are gonna, on these corners, are gonna get rounded. These valleys will get bigger, because as you're saying, your chain sits on here, it sits right in there and it drives forward like that. And then, basically, since it's going forward, this corner tooth on the left is gonna get rounded, and the other one's gonna stay fine, and basically it'll start to get rounded, and they'll call it a sh uh, shark finning, and it's kind of rounded like that. You start to see that consistency all on one gear, and it may not be on all of them, it could just be on certain gears, usually your favorite gears that you spend a lot of time in, so if you're in a climbing gear quite a bit, or you're somewhere in the middle, it um, takes a quite a long time for these to get worn out. Uh, what will cause this to wear, wear out prematurely, or just overall, is not replacing your chain when you're supposed to. That's where we need that chain checker, replace it at point 0.75 and uh, it's basically preventative maintenance and if you replace that chain when you're supposed to you get, all these parts are going to last longer whatever the chains coming in contact with uh, pulley wheels front chain ring those parts will last longer mm -hmm.